Welcome to another Physio video. This is part one of a two video series on adaptive immunity. In this video, we discuss the activation of humoral immunity. Humoral immunity refers to the production of antibodies, which play an important role in fighting infections. Let's discuss the process by which antibodies against a specific antigen are produced. The first step in triggering the production of antibodies is exposure of the antigen to be targeted to an antigen presenting cell. We have longer hand cells lying in wait in the stratified epithelial layers of the throat that are resident dendritic cells that may serve as antigen presenting cells. This professional antigen presenting cell will phagocytose the antigen and then degrade it into peptides and finally express a fragment of the original antigen using an MHC class 2 molecule. MHC stands for Major Histocompatibility Complex. The antigen presenting cell, or APC, travels to underlying tissue where it begins to encounter many T lymphocytes. The APC presents the processed antigen to naive helper T cells. One of the naive helper T cells will have a T cell receptor, or TCR, that will match the antigen expressed on the antigen presenting cell and the two cells will bind together co-receptors play an important role to elicit a tight interaction between immune cells cd4 is a co-receptor on the helper t cell that will bind to mhc class 2 molecules of antigen presenting cells cd stands for a cluster of differentiation CD28 on the T helper cell will bind to the co-stimulatory molecule B7 on the antigen presenting cell. After binding of the receptors, co-receptors, and co-stimulatory signals elicits a strong interaction between the two cells, the helper T cell will begin to express IL-2 receptors on its surface. T helper cells will also produce IL-2, which will bind to IL-2 receptors and cause an autocrine activation, bringing about proliferation of the T helper cells. Later in this video, we'll come back to the activated T helper cells and show their role in activating B cells for the production of antibodies. There are naive B cells located in the lymph nodes that express IgD antibodies on their surface that serve as the B cell receptor. These come in contact with antigens. The B cell receptor recognizes a particular antigen. Notice the red antigen matches the red B cell receptor. The matching antigen enters the B cell by way of receptor-mediated endocytosis. Once inside the cell, the antigen is broken down into peptide fragments that are expressed on the surface of the B cell using MHC class II molecules. The B cell gets its second signal for activation from the activated helper T cell that we previously described. The CD4 receptor on the helper T cell will bind to the antigen fragment expressing MHC class II molecule of the B cell. And CD40L of the T helper cell will bind to CD40 on the B cell. The B cell then expresses cytokine receptors on its surface, which bind to IL-4, IL-5 and TGF-beta produced by the T helper cell. These cytokines along with the CD40 
CD40L interaction are important for B cell activation. The activated B cell divides to form a clone army made up of identical activated B cells. Some of these cells will become activated memory B cells that are long lived. Later in time, if the body is exposed to the same antigen, these memory cells can quickly be activated to become plasma cells for antibody production. B cells of the clone army will produce the antibody IgM during the plasma blast stage before they differentiate into plasma cells. The plasma cells secrete three different classes of antibodies with specific functions that include IgA, IgG, and IgE. IgM is the first antibody to be produced upon activation of the humoral response. IgA is secreted from mucosal epithelia to combat microbes in the gastrointestinal and respiratory tracts. IgG has the highest concentration in the plasma and is also transported across the placenta to protect the developing fetus and newborn. IgE combats parasites and plays an important role in the allergic response. This concludes the video on humoral immunity. Please watch part two of adaptive immunity as we discuss cell-mediated immunity. Thanks for watching.